Good morning, friends. The sun is bad, but <laughs> I've got a full car load that's coming in today. This is the rest of the kitchen gadgets and things. Um, I still have a couple more crock pots, slow cookers at home, but I'll be bringing the food next, but I do have a bag of spices somewhere um, to work in the cabinet and my big flour and sugar so I know how to do all this. So let's go inside and get going. So here are all the spices that were in my home and this basket, and I'm gonna to try to put them in this cabinet. I would like to get the spices all over here, but I highly doubt it. We have a lot. Um, so this section and this whole row might be spices. I'd like to utilize these two cupboards, but we shall see. I am off to the bedroom to see if these totes that I got that I shared with you in the last vlog are going to work in our master closet. Let's see. Oh, you know! No! You're kidding me! I thought for sure these were gonna fit! Oh, I thought for sure these were gonna fit. You've gotta be kidding me. One. Oh my gosh. And I got 16 of those bins to go on this shelf. I don't even know how you return these to Amazon. I've never returned anything to Amazon. My bad. I mean, I didn't measure, which was naughty of me. I love that the closet has a window though. That's awesome. Well, looks like I gotta figure out another plan for the closet. And these were perfect because they fit a lot. I mean, I thought for sure, I didn't even measure. I mean, by the looks of it, when you're looking at the shelves, you're like, yeah, it'll totally work. No, nah, no. Nah. And there's a shelf right here, as you can see, but my dresses are going to be on this far end hanging down Derek will have the top and I will have the bottom and we're really not going to be utilizing that shelf so I got all of those I got all of those thinking that they would fit my bad for not measuring I did see when um, another family member was living here that they had clear bins that I have seen at Walmart fit in here. I just didn't want clear. I didn't want to see anything. <clears throat> I was gonna put labels on these so I didn't have to see anything. I wanted like just cle like clean lines, like clean, like ugh. So, oh well. Okay, I ran to Walmart and they didn't have any size like 12 by 13 or even 12 available. But I love these bins. You guys, have, if you've been following me for a while, know that I love these storage bins. Um, they're the storage crates by Sterlite and Walmart comes out with them every back to school season time. And they're there generally, but they really load their stores with them because they can snack and stack and connect together. So these fit perfect on the shelves and actually this might work out better where I could kind of see what's in them and I'll be able to fit a little bit, well maybe the same, it could be ending up the same in them. So huh, I bought 12, I took all the white from the Walmart closest to me so I'm going to have to go to the other Walmart, I think Derek and I are going to go out later to look at a certain entertainment center at Costco because we are going to um, get rid of the fireplace and find something else. And I think we found something at Costco the other day, so we're gonna go look at it tonight. So these are gonna work good. They are so durable, they last for years. I've had mine forever. I've done my boys' closets with these, uh, my girls' closets. Uh, I've done a pantry with these, and they have worked so good in my food storage room, so they fit perfect. This, if you do them this way, they stick off if you can see they stick out just a bit on the shelves 
So I'm gonna do it this way. For each section, I could fit two on a shelf, and then we can have other bins here that I have to store any loose things. I just don't want the shelves to just get drenched with clothes. I don't like that at all. So I have 12, and I'm gonna run out and get a couple more. Um, and I like it, it's white, pretty. Um, I am gonna save a couple of these for my linen closet, and then I'm going to return the rest, and my mother-in-law said that I can go to Kohl's, and you can do returns there, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, here's what I got going on. They work. They fit all the clothes and shoes down here perfectly. And then I have bins here for some personable things. So, um, and then these I recycled from in my house. These were the bins that were in the bookcase by the homework station in my coat closet. So I put those there. Usually Walmart has these. The Walmart closest to us, I ended up taking all their bins. All their bins so now one two three four five six seven eight I'm gonna get eight more of these bins and um, Derek I doubt Derek can fill them all but if he needs to put anything in them he can and we're not creating a mess and a disaster so I'm gonna try to get all the bags up here and then Derek can have up there um, yeah, so it's coming along. So I'm going to head to another Walmart just a few miles away and I'm going to see if they have any that look like this. If not, I know I could probably order them off of Walmart.com and do that because I love the gold. I love the gold. The cream and the gold. So, and hopefully um, this Walmart I'm going to will have more of the white bins. So I think we nailed it. I FaceTime Derek and he likes it. He likes how streamlined it is like I do so all right now I'm off to um, go do that wish me luck okay we ordered a really big rug and then another rug to go over there for the couches but this is a 9 by 12 area rug to go right here and this is where the dining room table will be so. So we ordered it off of Wayfair. So, and, and they're matching too, so they match. So then we're just gonna get to it and roll it out so it has time to settle and flatten good. Derek's like, whoa, that's big. Yep. This way, the table and the chairs can be on it. And when you push your chair out, the chair can still be on the carpet and not on the rug. So we're just going to stretch this, lay some things on it to flatten it. And um, today's Tuesday, so the table won't be here till Saturday. So, but. It's a cream color and we had it match the carpet and then it has the flex of the gray and black in it. It's super pretty. So we wanted just something neutral to match the couch and everything. So we got the same one. This is a five by seven. And um, so we decided that let's get them to match my in-laws have this planned for a wood stove. They're hoping to get it in soon, so that would be really nice. Really, really nice. Happy dogs. Paige has got a buddy. See how happy she's gonna be here with this big yard and her buddy. Grass. She's gonna love it. How cute. Derek and Boston are building the food room shelves, the food storage shelves. So this room here, 
that's another entrance that goes outside and this room was intentionally made as like a a room you come into and get ready after you go swimming they were going to build a pool but they did, ended up not so there was going to be a shower here and like a bench and things like that but so lucky for us we could use it for a food room um our big freezer is going to go here and our other refrigerator will go here and we're going to put shelves up along this wall and right here. We might block the door because we don't need to use that door because from here to here is our front door. So, Okay, so Derek built two shelves so we could fit two along here. And then another one Boston is... Boston built. Boston wow. built this one. Yes, and he helped me build that one. Nice. So now we're going to build another one that comes out to about here. And then we'll have our fridge and freezer here. So we're, we're not going to use that door, so we're just going to block it. Plus we won't have room to put it here because we're going to have a refrigerator. We have all this plumbing that we have to work with with our freezer and refrigerator. So... But I'm excited to have another room, another storage room for our food storage, so that's exciting. So, still have a lot to do in here. Lots still to do in the pantry, which I'll be working on tomorrow. I'm done. I am so tired. Lots of stuff in here to take care of and put away. It is, it's almost 9.30. And um, Paige is a happy puppy. So I put things down on the corners of the rugs to flatten them. Same as over there. So, yeah, making progress. Lots of progress today. Lots, lots, lots of progress. So I'll come back tomorrow. I'm going to do some more cleaning at the house, though. It's going to the point at our, house, at our home where it is very chaotic. So tomorrow I need to pick up and create order and then pack up some more stuff and then finish this. So we're, we're hoping that we'll be moved in. And then Saturday the truck comes. Yeah, we're kind of hoping that everything will be pretty much done Friday night. Paige, no. And then um, Saturday the truck will come and bring all the big stuff. So go put it upstairs and we're having a good time. The kids are playing with their cousins that are over here and they're having a good time. They're in Boston in Jonah's room, <laughs> having a good time, so. All right, I know you want like a full tour. I'll give it to you, but maybe in this video, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe when everything's set up, I'll give you the full tour.